Alright guys, today we're going to be jumping back into Modern Warfare Zombies and we're going to be checking out the Reclaimer shotguns because I ended up seeing a comment saying that these things actually got a pretty decent buff here recently. Now I do have to fully admit when we first ended up getting the conversion kit for these Reclaimer 18 shotguns that lets us akimbo these guys, I wasn't that big of a fan. Number one, it just didn't let you fire these things very fast. The power was kind of there, but without being able to really spam these things like I wanted to, it just kind of sucked. And also when you use the conversion kit, it also makes it so you can't put on the slug rounds, which is another little bit of a downside but apparently they ended up upping the fire rate on which you can just spam these things as you guys can see here they definitely did we're gonna come on in here today we're gonna end up testing out these reclaimers in every single zone inside of the main map and then we're gonna go do the season 5 dark ether not only are we gonna complete all of the contracts inside of the dark ether solo but we're also gonna go do that easter egg and the echo boss fight but with that welcome back to the channel everybody if y'all don't know my name is ghost appreciate everybody who stops by the video today if you're into zombies content or anything call of duty rock the hell out of that like button for me and subscribe to the channel guys we're getting so close to 24,000 subscribers and I cannot thank you guys enough for all the support. They're quite literally less than two weeks away from the launch of Black Ops 6 and I'm getting really excited and I know you guys are as well. If Black Ops 6 ends up not really being your thing and you just want more Modern Warfare Zombies content, I did end up starting a second channel called More Real Ghosts. I'm going to leave a link down in the description and I also will put a comment down in the comment section. I plan on not only doing a bunch more Modern Warfare Zombies content over there during the life cycle of Black Ops 6, but you never know what else you might find on that channel. I might just do a bunch of random stuff that you really won't be finding here on the main channel but when it comes to the buff that they did to these reclaimer 18s i can definitely tell i mean the fire rate really helps out a lot we were able to take out any of these hvts in any of the zones with relative ease they're even capable of taking down the mega abominations pretty fast although you do have to get right up in their face after pack a punching you're going to be sitting on eight shots inside of each shotgun before you have to reload and if you put the mega holding on you're going to be sitting on 168 rounds all together so it's not too terrible for these shotguns I will admit i did find myself running out of ammo from time to time but just running around and uh, finding ammo from the zombies that you kill really isn't that hard. It does take on the red zone zombies really easily, including the armored ones, and now that you actually have the ability to spam these shotguns, it takes on the hordes much easier. And that really was just my main complaint about these shotguns before, is the fire rate was just so slow. But I gotta say, guys, I really do like this buff. I see why a lot of people really gravitate to these shotguns. Even though we can't put the slug rounds in here, these things are still really powerful, even with just the dragon's breath. Especially if you pair that up with napalm burst, you're just doing even more fire damage so you're able to take down the things that are weak to fire pretty damn fast and these shotguns are just overall fun to use now. Now I've always honestly liked the Reclaimer 18 shotgun I mean especially when I put the slug rounds in there that thing is just really powerful. I will fully admit that I was definitely sleeping on the conversion kit I mean especially for a while now since the buff has been taking place. I'm definitely glad that I came back in here and tried these things out. This is a little secret tip for you guys if you're ever doing the season 5 dark ether I mean especially if you guys are solo always bring in one of those turret mods and save it for this turret right here. It'll make this end part of the escort mission just so much easier for you guys it'll wipe out that mega abomination really fast let's just take care of all of these zombies that are going to be spawning in you never know the mega abomination might drop you some he ended up dropping me a legendary ether tool which i thought that was pretty cool now i know i did kind of cover this and go over it in my last video but just in case you guys ended up missing that one apparently treyarch has actually been hearing our feedback about liberty falls and apparently they're going to be making the map and i quote moodier it's going to have more atmosphere so god knows what that actually means it's probably going to be a little bit of a change in the skybox and a little bit different lighting and stuff hey anything is definitely better than nothing and then they also said that they're going to be reworking the hud a little bit which is really nice to see you know, there's a lot of people out there including myself that really don't like just the uh, copy pasted hud from warzone so that's really cool i don't think that they're going to completely change it but maybe just even just changing things up a little bit to make the hud look zombified would be nice you do know that they are perfectly capable of making a cool looking hud i mean hell look at a lot of the other previous black ops games and then even in black ops 6 when you turn into the mangler the entire hud changed changes then so this is really awesome to see because it just tells me that Treyarch is actually going to be listening to player feedback this year that a lot of our complaints and concerns that we have are not just falling on deaf ears and now when we're talking about this or doing these kind of things we have to remember that we have to be constantly giving good constructive criticism and not just kind of hating on things just kind of bashing on things blindly because I think when we start doing that that's when those things get ignored but I think the fact that Treyarch is already willing to go this far and the game hasn't even launched yet is definitely a really good sign of things to come. To me, I've definitely always kind of understood the criticisms with Liberty Falls, and don't get me wrong, I'm extremely ecstatic that they're actually changing some things. But with all, like, the atmospheric and stuff aside, I think they've already kind of done this kind of stuff before. Like, when we got Black Ops 3, Shadows of Evil was the more complex map, and the Giant was definitely the more casual, just jump in, pack punch your weapons, and kill zombies map. But yes, I know that there was Easter eggs in the Giant, but when you compare it to Shadows of Evil, it was just, it's very, very minuscule. It's extremely casual and 
comparison. That is just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys are thinking down in the comments section. What are you hoping for changes for Liberty Falls? You know, for me personally, I was really hoping that there would be like some sort of a secret underground area that just kind of opens up. Or let's say like halfway through the quest, we end up turning the map into the dark ether, kind of like we did in D Machine. I think something like that might still be possible because they did kind of tease during the COD pod. They said that all of the Easter eggs and side quests and everything were turned off. There was just certain things that they weren't able to experience at COD Next or that we haven't seen yet. So we're just going to have to wait and see. If anybody at Treyarch is watching these, I mean, please guys, put the golden armor into Black Ops 6. We really do have to have the armor system and it is here to stay. It would just be so nice if there was a way that we could get something that would automatically play and I don't have to manually do it. If you guys could incorporate that some way into Black Ops 6, I think that would be really cool. Now that we do have all three of our contracts done here inside of the Dark Aether, I am going to do the Easter Egg to go up and fight the Entity Echo boss fight. I'm just going to tell you guys right now, bad idea taking these shotguns up there. It was a really good thing that I had the VR-11 on me, and even that's not the greatest thing to fight the Entity Echo with, but we ended up getting the job done. I'm going to toss up the loadout for the Reclaimer shotguns up on the screen right here for anybody that wants to check it out. We ended up getting some just absolutely amazing loot on this run. Now, the loadout will also be at the very end of the video. I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay. Again, I truly do appreciate all the love and support everybody please do me a huge favor and drop a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if anybody is new i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and i will catch you in the next one